right, ladies, you know, thank God we didn't have the rain we had yesterday. We had some sunshine to deliver all these clothes. Deb, I'll start with you. Um, where did all this stuff come from? Well, as everybody knows, we with the forest fire evacuees, we took in a lot of donations. We put out a call to the community, and obviously we were overwhelmed in such a good way, so we've literally filled our caboose. And this isn't even the whole part of it. There's still quite a number of things uh, still at the caboose. What would you like to say to the people of Humboldt who, you know, really... Uh, made the call for all that stuff. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say a big thank you to the community for stepping up and providing all these amazing donations. Initially, yes, intended for evacuees, but things worked out good for them. The whole province stepped up, so now we're grateful to be donating all of this locally to the Good Neighbor Store. And why the Good Neighborhood Store? Is uh is there a good reason that you came here? Well, they're local. They're another nonprofit. Um, they're totally run by volunteers, and the the portion of the proceeds from the sale of this at the store goes to uh, other community groups. So it was a great cause all around. Awesome, and Susan. Yes. Um, you know, what does it mean to have uh, this? huge amount of donations you can't even take it all at once uh, does it mean quite a bit to have this come to the to the store for sure and we get lots of donations all year round so we can handle a large amount not the whole caboose at one time but we can ha handle a pretty large amount at once so we'll go through it and we'll sell it and and uh, it'll go to good homes excellent would you like to thank anyone thank you to the chamber for thinking of us and I guess to the people of Humboldt who donated it awesome thank you very much ladies thanks